Hello guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. On this video we are going to be looking at expanding double brackets such as x plus 3 times by x plus 2. Now the reason I've said times by is actually there's an invisible multiply in the middle of those two brackets. We do not draw it on when we do algebra for convenience. The first step of a banana method is to draw a banana onto your double brackets. Now it's very important that you draw it the same as I've just done there. Can you see that our banana starts at the first term and finishes at the second term of the first bracket? So, for each line on this banana you are going to multiply. The first line we're going to multiply is this one x times x. x times x is x squared. The next line we're going to multiply is x times 2. x times 2 is 2x and there's a plus and a plus so it's plus 2x. The next line is 3 times x which is 3x and it's a plus and a plus so it's plus 3x. The final line is 3 times 2, which is 6, and it's a plus and a plus, so it's plus 6. Now we look at our middle term, because your exam question will say expand and simplify. Here we have done the expand, now we have to do the simplify. Okay, And all that means is you put your x terms in the middle together. 2x add 3x is 5x. So all together for your final answer, you have x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now we are going to look at a slightly more difficult question where not both of your signs are plus. So here we have x plus 3 times by x minus 4. So we want to multiply everything in this bracket by everything in this bracket. And the way that we do this is the banana method. So, we draw our banana on, making sure it goes from the first term to the two terms in the second bracket, and from the second term to the two terms in the second bracket. This way we ensure that we have done every single multiply that we need. So the first one we do, x times x, x squared and it's a plus x squared because actually if you don't put any sign it means it's a plus okay x times minus 4 is the next one but I want us to just think of x times 4 which is 4x and then look at the signs a plus times a minus is a minus so it's minus 4x the next one is 3 times x which is 3x and it's a plus times a plus which is a plus the next calculation is 3 times 4, which is 12, and a plus times a minus is a minus. So that is the expand bit done. The next part of the question, we have to simplify. So to simplify, we have to do minus 4x add 3x. Now I know people get confused about minus 4 add 3. So I want you to think of it as 3 take away 4, because it's the same thing. 3 take away 4 is minus 1. So the answer here is minus 1x, which we can just write as minus x. So our final answer here is x squared minus x minus 12. Okay. Hopefully you've caught up with me so far and you understand what the banana method does. So we can try a more difficult one. This is more difficult because our first term in the first bracket is 2x as opposed to x. So we want to do the multiply for two brackets. We want to multiply everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. And our little trick to do that is the banana method. Okay. The first one that we do is the x's. x's. So 2x times x is 2x squared because x times x is x squared okay 
The next one is 2x times 5. So you've got 5 lots of 2x, which is 10x. And looking at our signs, we've got a plus times a plus, which is a plus. The next one is 1 times x, which we can just write as x. And it's a plus times a plus, which is a plus. The final one, 1 times 5, which is just 5. And it's a plus and a plus again. So that's the expand bit done. Now we've got 10x add x. So 10 lots of x add 1 lots of x is 11 lots of x. So our final answer is 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. I'm going to show you one more on this video. And I will do another video showing more tricky banana methods called the banana method 2 for you to check out if you would like to. So slightly more tricky again because one of our banana lines is going to be 3x times 2x. So 3x times 2x is quite a tricky question in itself. You have to do the 3 times the 2 normally, which gives you 6. And you have to do the x times the x, which gives you x squared. So our answer for the first multiply is 6x squared. The next one is 3x times 5, which is 5 lots of 3x, which is 15x. And we have a plus and a plus, so it's a plus. The next one is minus 2 times by 2x, which is 4x, but because of the minus and the plus, it becomes a negative, because a minus times a plus is a negative. The final one is 2 times 5, which is 10, but it's a minus and a plus, so it's minus 10. Now for the simplify, we have 15x take away 4x, which is 11x. So our final answer is 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. Thank you for watching my first YouTube video. Let me know what you think and make sure you keep watching the other ones as well. Good luck.